हार्ट हार्ट हमारे बॉडी का वो पार्ट है जो जन्म से पहले ही धड़कना शुरू कर देता है और बिना किसी ब्रेक के और बिना किसी रुकावट के चलता रहता है तभी तो हार्ट के कनेक्शन को लाइफ का कनेक्शन भी कहते हैं अगर हम अपनी ज़िंदगी पर नज़र डालें तो हम देखते हैं कि वो बातें जो हमारे दिल को पसंद हो हम वही करना चाहते हैं चाहे वो दिल की पसंद का खाना हो घूमना हो या फिर प्रोफेशन और साथ ही वो लोग जो हमारे दिल के करीब होते हैं हमारे अपने होते हैं उनके दिल को खुश करने की भी कोशिश करते हैं आप सोच रहे होंगे आज डॉक्टर खूबसूरत को दिल की क्या सूझ रही है वेल टुडे इज़ वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे और आज का दिन विश्व भर में हार्ट डिजीज़ की अवेयरनेस बढ़ाने का सबसे बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है और इस साल वर्ल्ड हार्ट डे की थीम है माई हार्ट यो हार्ट अगर मैं सिंपल वर्ड्स में कहूँ तो इसका ये मतलब है कि अपना और अपने अपनों के दिल का ख्याल रखना तो चलिए आज के दिन हम सब अपने आप से एक प्रॉमिस करते हैं कि जितना सीरियसली हम अपनी हार्ट के डिज़ायर्स को लेते हैं उतना ही सीरियस हम अपने हार्ट हेल्थ को भी लें आज के दिन हम हार्ट हेल्थ को अलग अलग नज़रियों से देखेंगे चाहे वो आपका या मेरा नज़रिया हो डॉक्टर्स की सलाह हो खाने पीने की जानकारी हो या फिर नई टेक्नोलॉजी और फिटनेस का इस्तेमाल हो हार्ट हेल्थ में आपके खुद के बाद अगर सबसे बड़ा रोल किसी का है तो वो है आपके कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट या हार्ट स्पेशलिस्ट का We are very fortunate that today we have with us some of the most esteemed cardiologists of the country. और इन सब से बात करेंगे डॉक्टर एच के चोपड़ा जो सीनियर कंसल्टेंट हैं मूलचंद हॉस्पिटल में आइए समझ लेते हैं इन डॉक्टर से हम हार्ट हेल्थ को थोड़ा और बेहतर On the occasion of World Heart Day, this is a very important occasion. and we have a very galaxy of eminent cardiologist who are the leader in their own field they are the legends of cardiology in india as well as in the world today our dialogue is going to be on healthy heart when we talk of world heart day it's not a huge celebration it's an awareness campaign it's an education it's an action plan and we also have to have an agenda we should be outcome driven agenda that's how we are assembled here dear friends i would like to introduce my very eminent panel before you they are very eminent cardiologists and legends in cardiology all over the world to my right is professor s c manchanda formerly head of the department of cardiology at premier all india institute of medical sciences delhi he is senior consultant cardiologist at sir gangaram hospital today and to my extreme right is dr vivek kumar he is the director electrophysiology and director interventional cardiology at maxed heart and vascular institute saket new delhi to my left is dr j p s sani who is the head of the department and chairman of cardiology sir gangaram hospital he was a tremendous contribution in cholesterol fitness and to my extreme left is dr ravi kasliwal who is the chairman and clinical chairman clinical cardiology and preventive cardiology medanta the med city gurgaon ladies and gentlemen we are going to start our dialogue with them what is the purpose of the dialogue what is the theme of world heart foundation should be known to each and every one of you the theme is my heart and your heart what does it mean we say my heart is healthy and if your heart is healthy then we can keep the health of the heart in a very positive way in other words what i am trying to say that we must grow young and live long and it's possible only if you have a healthy heart towards my right is professor s c manchanda who has a huge contribution in yoga in fact we call him as a yoga guru dean ornish you all have heard of in united states he is the dean ornish of india dr manchanda i think it's very important people talk of yoga i don't think people understand much of yoga yoga means they think it's only asanas i think we should highlight on all the eight components whether it's a yama niyama asana pranayam pratihara dhyana dhyana and samadhi and we like to have your comments on this does yoga really help us in the cardiac health and vascular health and really enhance the longevity your words of wisdom dr manchanda sir Yes, thank you very much. You are quite right. Uh, yoga has been shown to be very helpful in the cardiovascular disease. The reason I got interested is I am in practice of 
cardiology for the last 50 years. We have made tremendous advances. We have uh, very good medicines. We have even transplant, heart transplant, bypass, etc. But in spite of all that, the disease is increasing. We have not been able to keep a check on the heart disease. And one of the reasons uh, which is considered is that we have not been able to change the behavior of the individual. Now, behavior change can occur at mind-body level. And therefore, a method like yoga uh, has been shown to be extremely useful, which acts at the mind. Because mind creates the thoughts and the body follows it. If the thought is to not to do exercise, we will not do exercise. If the mind is, if the thought is to smoke, we will smoke. So I think the behavior of the individuals have to be changed and yoga is very helpful. You're quite right. There is a misconception about yoga that it is only a few uh, postures, but no, it is a complete way of life. Actually, it is a method of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. In other words, diet is a part of yoga, no smoking is a part of yoga. Most important part is that uh, the stress management occurs uh, with this and it has been shown that stress which occurs in our mind, uh, negative stress can change the neurohormonal profile. All the bad hormones are produced which can damage the uh, uh, blood vessels and they can cause heart disease. Not only that, the stress can even cause uh, so-called irregular heart rates or arrhythmias which can even cause death. So the role of uh, stress has been neglected. We have as you heard, we have heard about the diet, we have heard about exercise, we have heard about smoking, but very little of stress. You are very right, yoga has, seems to have a significant role in the prevention of heart disease. The reason why yoga became prominent is because in spite of all the advances, we have not been able to control the disease. And it seems the root of the disease is in the mind, which causes stress, which changes the whole body. There is a misconception about yoga that it is a few exercises. But it's a complete way of life in which physical, mental, emotional and spiritual well-being is considered. And uh, diet is a part of yoga. You are quite right, yoga has been described as eight-limb discipline, that is yam, niyam. But there are three more uh, most important components. One are the stretching exercises or what is called asanas. The second is breathing exercises. Third is meditation. Each one of them has been shown to be extremely useful, especially the meditation. तो इसलिए अगर हम पुरानी अपनी पद्धति को जोड़ दें मॉडर्न सिस्टम के साथ तो ये जो बीमारी है दिल की काफ़ी हद तक ठीक हो सकती है काफ़ी रिसर्च हुई है इसके ऊपर कि जितने भी रिस्क फैक्टर्स हैं जैसे डायबिटीज़ है मोटापा है स्ट्रेस है और हाई ब्लड प्रेशर है इससे ठीक हो सकता है काफ़ी हद तक हो सकता है इससे हमने ये भी दिखाया है कि अगर बीमारी शुरू हुई है तो उसको रिवर्स किया जा सकता है अर्ली स्टेज में इवन एडवांस स्टेज में कई लोगों को बाईपास और एंजोप्लास्टी से बचाया गया है और कई लोगों को धड़कन की तकलीफ होती है एरिदमिया जिसको कहते हैं उसके अंदर भी इसका फ़ायदा दिखाया है इवन हार्ट फेलियर के अंदर तो ये काफ़ी हद तक इसको हर एक पहलू पे योगा का फ़ायदा दिखाया गया है इसलिए हमें यूज़ करना है एक बहुत बड़ी स्टडी हमने अभी कंप्लीट की है जो अमेरिकन हार्ट में दिखाई जाएगी जिसमें ये जिन पेशेंट्स की एनजोप्लास्टी बाईपास हुआ था उनको योग सिखाया गया और उनको लगता है बहुत फ़ायदा हुआ ये हमारे जो मन की तकलीफें हैं जैसे डिप्रेशन है एंगजाइटी है गुस्सा है इससे ये देखा गया है कि हार्ट डिजीज़ होती है और अगर किसी को हार्ट अटैक हुआ है और उसको डिप्रेशन है या बाईपास हुआ है डिप्रेशन है तो उसके चांसेस बचने के कम होते हैं इसलिए हमें अपने मन को भी ठीक रखना है तो इसलिए सबसे अच्छा इलाज ये लगता है इस वक्त कि अगर आपने हार्ट डिजीज़ को दूर करना है तो आप मन को भी कंट्रोल करिए उसके लिए जो पुराना सिस्टम है हमारा योग का और साथ में जो मॉडर्न uh, सिस्टम दोनों को अगर मिला लिया जाए तो बीमारी काफ़ी हद तक ठीक हो सकती है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक डॉक्टर मनचंदा मैसेज वेरी क्लियर दैट इट इज़ योगा विच कॉज द स्टेबिलेशन ऑफ माइंड वेन द माइंड इज स्टेबिलाईज वेन देर इज ए माइंड सेट योर चॉइस आर परफेक्ट वेन योर चॉइस आर परफेक्ट योर हार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्दी डॉक्टर मनचंदा इज़ वेरी क्लियर दैट योगा डज नॉट बीन ऑन दी आसनाज ही सेड यमा मीन्स डूज एंड डोंट्स you to know what are do's and what are don'ts dr manchanda also said the niyama means self discipline you have to be disciplined dr manchanda this very important if you see the one cause today very common which has been recently quoted in the lancet 2018 yes. the number one cause is hypertension yes. what do you think does yoga really help in controlling blood pressure yes stress is a factor which has been shown to cause hypertension and there are large number of studies now more than 100 studies they show that yoga can decrease uh, significantly especially those who have stress it can decrease the blood pressure 
to a great extent. So even American Heart Association has suggested that all patients who have mild elevation of blood pressure, they should really do meditation, a part of yoga. A very important message that when hypertension or a high blood pressure to a very large extent is stress inflicted, and the morbidity and mortality of hypertension is enormous. It is number one silent killer in the world today. A lot of event rates, vascular event rates, whether there is a lack of, uh, or there is a giddiness, or there is a chest pain, or there is a peripheral vascular disease, or there is a kidney problem, everything has a link to the blood pressure. Blood pressure or a hypertension should not be taken easy. I personally feel that Dr. Manchanda's message is very important that stress plays a definite role. It has been seen, people who don't get a proper sleep, when they're sleepless in the night, on the next day, their blood pressure is very high. So at least six to eight hours of sleep is necessary, Dr. Manchanda. Do you agree with that? I think it's very important if you have a balanced mind and adequate sleep, your chemicals will be perfect and your blood pressure will be normal. When your blood pressure is normal, you're not going to become a victim of premature heart attack or premature brain attack or a leg attack or a abdominal attack. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very important message. Hypertension red alert has been announced in the whole world today. So we have to create an awareness about the hypertension and Dr. Machanda's message is, please do yoga and please do meditation and have a sattvic diet so that your blood pressure is controlled and manage your stress well. World Heart Day पर हमारे इस special panel discussion में आगे doctor से जाने heart health के और aspects के बारे में बस एक छोटे से break के बाद.